Hey everyone, JR Lights here, and I had a Zippo collector who was switching his themes and needed to offload a bunch of Zippos. So I here I have about 50 Zippos that we made a deal on, and a lot of them are themes, are series. He had a bunch of series, a bunch of really neat Zippos. For time's sake, I'm just going to go through what I got and show you what there are. And if you have any questions on the series or particular lighter let me know in the comments i'll do a separate video about them be sure to like share and subscribe welcome to jero lights all righty let's get started i'm doing this on the floor today as opposed to my normal setup just because this is a pretty decent lot there are a lot of things here uh, so we'll start with our biggest thing which is the patent printout for the zippo lighter patent number 2032695 i think this is a really neat display piece this kind of shows some of the anatomy and also some of the pieces to the zippo lighter so really neat that would be something cool to hang and display Next, we have a cherry wood display. Really nice. I mean, it has a lock on it. it. I'm not sure how many Zippos it holds. It looks like it might hold like 60 to 70, maybe more. Maybe 90. Uh, I mean, there's, these things can hold a lot of Zippos. So that's really neat i think i have an idea of what to do with that now we will get into some of the boxes starting off we do have some puzzles these are the 70th anniversary puzzles i already have uh all three of these the rest of this box uh looks like they're just boxes and tens. This holds two Zippos. That'd be really neat. I have some, I have two Zippos that will really go good into here. We have some of the plastic 90s cases, modern boxes, early 2000 boxes, tens. Can never have too many boxes. Uh, also have little display stands, official Zippo display stands. I have a bunch of these, but they don't say Zippo on it. That is really neat. And here's our first Zippo here. Let's see, what do we got? I'm not even going to pronounce that, but it is a discount cigarette Zippo. 2002 issues with the hinge just a beater beater zippo really cool though they clean that up here's some more mid 2000 boxes cool can never have too many boxes here's another box this is a replica box Looks like this is just a bag of a bunch of uh, Zippos that need uh, need parts or fixing. Probably some good Zippos to do uh, to send to the Zippo clinic. I only legitimately send in Zippos to the uh, Zippo clinic. I don't abuse the system. So for all the Karens that say I do, I don't. Uh, I rarely even send Zippos in. I do a lot of repairs on my own. So this is... Uh, this might be a good one to send into the repair clinic and show you what they do to hinges that have just kind of been broken. So that would be a good video. There's some more. This one looks like it got beat by a hammer. I have a couple of those. Yeah, there's some more beater Zippos. 2010 and it has gone through the ringer. Another one, really 
This one would be an easy hinge replacement. Just get a hinge pin in there. Hinge pin in there. This one's probably one of the one of the most desirable sets out there. As far as modern Zippos, we have the bicycle Zippo playing card. I know a lot of bicycle card collectors go after this piece. Uh, and a lot of Zippo collectors go after this piece. So this is a really neat piece. I already have one, so having one in mint condition is even better. So that's fantastic. The date on this, by the way, is 2010. Next up, we have a blister pack. But it is a blister pack that has the red stripe. Looking at the date now, it looks like it's a 2013. 2013. So just one of those retro packaging. Really neat. Has the uh, has Europe on it. So I guess this was a blister pack that was maybe sold in Canada because it's in French uh, as well as Spanish. And also it is in Canada imported by Niagara Falls. So... So we have the aluminum anodized series. Uh, I'm not sure the official name of these. These are, uh, what is this? Uh, 2003 Coliseum, Big Ben, Statue of Liberty, and the Eiffel Tower. Really neat. I'm definitely keeping these. I always like these. So. Like we have the amphibian series and also an insect series. Two thousand and two. You got your ladybug, scorpion, spider. Here we have your lizard, your frog, and a snake. These are cool. Looks like the the like it's a black crackle texture. I'd have to take them out. If you want to know more about these, let me know in the comments and we'll, we can do a separate video on those. We have the abstract series, the geometry series. I, I got to do some more research on what series these are, but these are from the early to mid 90s here. 94, 93, 94, 93. I really like this one. This one's neat. 93 has a really nice shine to it in the 90s they did a lot of series like these so these are really really neat so that's uh, abstract series uh, maybe the geometry series I'm not sure um, if you want to know more about these let me know in the comments uh, here we have our turquoise Native American series, 99, that one's nice, 96, I'll probably do a video on that series by itself already. That's a really neat series. The Turquoise Native American series. Let's see what else we got here. Some posts. Okay. These post series.
Really neat. Now these, I'm not sure what these are. Okay, these are the uh, Carson Waterman series. Native American painter. Carson Waterman. And it looks like I know we got one more series. This next series I'm not a big fan of, but we got it. So we'll start off. This is the Art of Rock series. They did the, that's Boo Boo Stewart's magnificent masterpiece. They did the uh, Facebook series. I mean, the concept was great. The execution, not so much. This one is kind of neat because it's a double-sided one. This one was, uh, everyone else was, or all the other ones were limited to 500. This was limited to like 150, I think, something like that. But they aren't numbered, so that's kind of where it failed. This one actually sold out, was one of the first ones to sell out. I don't know why. I think clowns are pretty scary, if you ask me. So, Art of Rock series, that's... So, that's it. That is the big lot that I've recently purchased. So, about 50 Zippos and a bunch of boxes, a display case, a poster, some puzzles. I think this is a pretty neat lot. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it cost me a pretty penny. However, it's still a reasonable deal. This individual, like I said, was shifting his themes and uh, made me a very, very, made me a deal that I could not refuse. So, uh, very thankful for him. Uh, he's a great friend, great collector, and I hope I can repay him the favor uh, soon. So, tell me what you think. Any of these series that you see, that you want to learn more about and find out, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.